What up Team Buckhouse, Jonathan Buckhouse here. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about linking snowboard tricks. Now you guys have probably only heard about linking snowboard turns. So what am I talking about? Linking snowboard tricks. This is kind of a higher level, if you're into the train park riding, thing to think about, but also if you're wanting to get into the park or just you love snowboarding in general, think about this, especially when you're watching professional snowboarders in competitions or things like that, or just that kid at the park that's absolutely throwing down. You're like, man, how's he so good at the jumps? It's because they are linking their snowboard tricks. So let's jump into that. And here's a couple examples of me linking some snowboard tricks. snowboard tricks is when you are able to go from one trick into the next trick but the next trick was set up by that first trick that you did so the first trick you did sets up your second trick which sets up your third trick and then if you can you just keep going down the line of every trick you do feeds into the next trick creating flow creating style are linking one jump trick to the next jump trick that creates a lot of style it looks really good and it makes your tricks easier because you're setting them up by linking them by the first trick that you do so if I wanted to do like a back three on a jump I can set up with a half cab which is a switch front side 180 and then land on the right side of the landing which sets up my backside 360 super nice because as I come back up the, the wedge, I'm just ready to throw a backside 360. So I linked that trick. And in the process of linking it, it looks really good. But style is not the only reason why you want to link your snowboard tricks. If you're linking your tricks, it's gonna help you not lose your speed. So let's say you do like a front side 180, now you're switch and you're like, ah, I don't wanna be switch. And if you revert in the middle of jump one to jump two, you're gonna lose some speed and you end up might knuckling jump two because you did that revert. Also, once again, it doesn't really matter people watching you, but like if you want to set a, a level of standard or you want to look good or you want to be like flow to hit a jump regular, then landing switch, reverting, and then hitting the next jump regular. It, it's not, it, you know, it's like, it's not supposed to be done. You know, it's true style is to hit the next jump switch. So, you know, you do that front side 180, you land switch, then you want to hit that next feature switch, which means you have to have a pretty strong switch game. So think about that too. Ride every run at least 30% switch, if not more, to get, you know, that switch riding dialed and then get into the park. And what I did to learn switch jumps is I would hit the first jump switch. So, you know, I learned half cab which is a switch front side 180. So then I would drop in, do the half cab, which would set me up for my regular rotations, whether I wanted to do a front side or just a straight air, you know, whatever I wanted to do. But I would always hit that first jump switch, which then, you know, gave me a new trick in the arsenal to start linking snowboard tricks to get better looking lines of doing like a half cab to a back five to a cab five, which then also now I'm running out regular, but I was able to do, you know, that switch 180 going in to a backside 540 which made me land switch and then I did a switch 540 which made me land regular and then I can ride into the rail section. Now this also applies to your rails. You know if you're gonna like hit a rail come off switch hopefully you can hit the next feature switch and then that just adds to the flow adds to the style. So I just want you guys to think especially if you're one of those park riders that's starting to get good out there you know like the Nikos of the world the guy that came to snowboard camp think about linking your snowboard tricks doing one trick into the next trick this is literally a video designed to you know spark ideas make you just think a little bit more out of the box when it comes to your terrain park riding and uh yeah go out there and get it i know we gotta wait a second summertime but still super sick and if you watch this in the winter go get it and if you made it to this point in the video consider smashing the subscribe button i'm gonna be dropping so many snowboard gems and tips and tricks for you guys as well as i have a daily snowboard vlog in the winter and we just post daily on this channel period so if you're looking for some good awesome youtube content this is one to subscribe to if you love what i do too and you want to support the dream because i do it for a living i do have evolution stickers or just evolution merch all kinds of hats and shirts and things those are all linked down below if you snag them tag them on my instagram and i'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs for following instagram and the tiktok for bonus extra content we've been pumping out a bunch of that especially now in the slower season so check out those other 
platforms for more content. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow with another video because it is daily on this snowboard channel.